Hey guys, Tech Bravo coming to you from the shed quarters again. It's been a little bit since I've done a video. I've been really busy, uh, but I'm going to try to do some more. I know I've said that the last two videos, so just bear with me. Um, saw a question on a group tonight, and I kind of wanted to know this myself because I never did set this thing up uh, for its maximum usable uh, area because uh, I don't really make anything on it. I just tinker and test and play. So um, what I did is... Uh, got a piece of paper and taped it together to fit absolutely the maximum dimensions here in between the rails and it's uh, 12 by 14 304.8 by 355.6 millimeters and the max workable area is 325 millimeters by 235 millimeters I found that out by actually going in here with the machine off and manually articulating the X and Y uh, to their furthest points where the laser head uh, was not obstructed in any way and that's how I came up with that so what I'm gonna do is put my I'm gonna defeat my interlock so that I can uh, expose myself to some laser radiation and uh, I'm gonna run this <clears throat> and what I've done in Lightburn and my config file is set it up accordingly to those dimensions and now my max work area here on Lightburn is 325 by 235 and I drew a box that is 325 by 235 and uh, let me crank the power up on that just a little bit and I'm gonna start this I don't know what's gonna happen I'm gonna home it and we hit start and let's see what our workable area our engravable area is here there we go I didn't turn my uh, exhaust on but you can see it barely hugs right across the edge here so it will get all the way to this um, and then you can see the distances from here to here looks like uh, let me get a different measuring tool it looks like 20 millimeters off this side 15 millimeters approximately off this side all the way all the way to the front and uh, from the back rail technically well you know it zeros uh, where it's where it's gonna be it didn't it didn't home let me home it again uh, so you can fit let's say a 12 by 12 piece of tile in there uh, but you're not going to get maybe all the way to the edges maybe with so you'll have quite a bit of area that you can't actually access just because of the way it's designed but it will fit a piece of work that is 14 by 12 and it will engrave uh, almost 13 inches by nine and a quarter it's just not centered just not centered on the work it's a little forward so you'll have a little bit of unusable area in the back so that may affect it but anyway uh, I was just gonna try that out and uh, see how that works so anyway I've got my laser set up for max so that's a good thing anyway uh, I'll catch you next time. Tech Bravo from the Global Shed Quarters of Bravo Technologies. Cyclops is brought to you in part by Cohesion. Controllers, Bravo Technologies, and of course Lightburn. And as always, do not look into beam with remaining eye. Tech Bravo, out!